What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to finally A-B test your screenshots, your app icon, your product pages on iOS. Let's get to it. First things first, you want to be logged in to App Store Connect as the account owner. Okay, it's very important. You have to be the account owner. Now, you're going to see this at the very top. Customize and optimize your product pages. You can now create custom product pages, finally, and product page optimization tests. To get started, account holders need to enable the updated App Store submission experience. So we're gonna click here, and then you're gonna hit continue. So enable the updated App Store submission experience. You're about to enable it. Here we go. You're making this change for Steve Young. and That's my personal Apple developer account. So I'm gonna hit enabled. Boom. We're set. I'm going to come back into App Store Connect. You can go under my apps here. And I'm going to pick this app right now. Okay. So one thing to note, the app has to be ready for sale. Now, before we go any further, I do want to point out a couple of different distinctions. Number one, custom product pages. Now, these are product pages that you can create. These are brand new product page listings, so App Store listings that you can customize depending on your audience. So for example, if you wanted to run a Facebook campaign or you're running an influencer marketing campaign and you want to highlight different screenshots for that specific influencer, then that's how you do it with these custom product pages. Okay. So here I'll read Apple's what Apple says, create custom product pages using different app previews, screenshots, or promotional text. Right. So really and we'll create our first one right here. So maybe this is influencer marketing, right? And then we can say Steve, for example. Now I'm going to copy what's already existing just to show you an example. Excellent. So let's say for this influencer, we're talking about creating your own soundscapes. So I want this to be first, right? And then maybe I just want to move all this stuff. So I'm going to create a custom one. So our default has these three as the first three, but this before this one, I want to test. Hey, if these having these first three would perform better. Okay. Now I'm going to add, add for review and then Apple has to review it. So I'm going to submit to Apple review and typical Apple. You're going to have to actually have every single one of these custom product pages be reviewed. All right. So that's all in review. Let's see. We could take a look at this real quick. This is waiting for view. So now here we can view. Now, once this is done, we'll have a custom link that we can use. So here's, we're going to copy this link. This is, and then I'm going to paste this, this new link here. This is the iPad version. I didn't change anything on the iPad stuff. I only changed it on the iPhone. All right. It looks like the custom link isn't working yet until Apple probably approves it. The next thing I want to talk about and why you're probably here is the product page optimization. So this is creating different AB tests within App Store Connect within the iOS App Store. Now, before we would have to use search ads and try to AB test that way. Now you can do this. And the first AB test I would run personally is if you're using landscape, try testing portrait. If you're using portrait, maybe try testing landscape. And also if you're thinking about using a video, We'll A-B test that to see a video, if a video would actually help your app store downloads. Let's try to create a test real quick. And I don't have any landscape photos, but let's try portrait versus landscape. Cool. And then we can pick number of treatments. So that's the number of A-B tests you want to run. I would probably just do one at a time and then you can do 50%. Estimate uh, to see how long your test might take. Click the estimate. Okay. Improvement. Oh, okay. So like if, let's say I want to improve by 25%, it would need about 55 weeks depending on my app. So unfortunately I don't have that many downloads for this particular app. That's probably why. So you can do this with Apple. Like how much do you want to improve by? And then it'll give you an estimate on the days. That's pretty cool. Apple. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to hit 50%. I'm going to hit create tests. 
Great. Now this is where I can do this. Again, I don't have any landscape, so I might just want to test the order. So what if I had said, create your own landscapes? So I want, maybe I want to do something like this, right? Or create your own scapes. Maybe I want to try that just to see if creating custom soundscapes is interesting. Here you can add videos, you can choose files and have whole different layout. What I would normally tell you to do if you're A-B testing screenshots is be dramatically different. Test the order. That's the one thing you can do too. A friend of mine tested different order of messaging and he found one to be more effective and he saw an increase in downloads. So that's one thing that you can test as well, the order and different, completely different messaging or different color variations, you know, think about it. Those are a lot of things you can test. So I'm just gonna try this for now, just to get this test going. I'm gonna hit start test and then start test. Boom, we're done. Now I'm gonna go back to product page optimization. And then here you can see that this is going, let's see view analytics. And here is where you can start seeing the analytics stuff. Let's go back here. One thing I want to, the other thing I want to show you guys as well. So one thing to point out is I try to create a brand new test. So I was like, hey, let's try to create an icon test, for example, right, 50%. And I could not create it because this one was running, all right? So the portrait versus landscape screenshot test is running, so I can't run any new one, all right? So I can stop this test. So I'm going to hit stop real quick. Back to here, I'm gonna create a new one. I wanna see if we can do an icon one. Now, I can't seem to find where we would be able to test the icon. So unless I'm missing something here, it says the app icon, app previews and screenshots from your virtual project page have been done, but like I can't test the actual icon. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let that one go. So for now, unless I'm missing something, it looks like you can just A-B test those screenshots, which is a lot better than it, what we originally had too. And I think eventually I might be missing something here. We will be able to test the icon because Apple said that before. But for now, it looks like it's just the screenshots from what I can tell, unless you see something different, right? So I wanted to create this video really quickly for you guys because it is a brand new feature that we should all be optimizing and we should all be using. So check it out. Let me know what results you're seeing on your end. Any A-B cool A-B tests that you want to share with me, just email me, steve at appmasters.com. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.